Corruption. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Hey. Hello. Going pretty good. Storyteller's got another story tonight. Really? Y'all ready to hear about Cornelius? Cornelius. Yes. He was Is he a piece of corn? No, that's his name. He... What about the corns on your feet? No, 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 no. That's not it? That's not it. I like mm. corn. Now, Is what I want to... We got to get started. Over in the city of Caesarea was a man named Cornelius, an officer in the Roman ar army. And he was a good man who feared God. Even though he wasn't a Jew, he taught his family about God and gave many gifts to the poor and spent a lot of time in prayer. That was, that's pretty cool, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, he was terribly frightened one day because an angel came to him and he says, What do you want, sir? The angel replied, God has heard your prayers and seen the gifts you've given to the poor. What kind of gifts? What's gifts that, gifts that. Toys? Fire uh, trucks? I don't know what kind of gifts, but it was definitely gifts that helped the poor. Hmm. And he and the angel instructed that he was to go and uh, send for a man named Peter that was hmm. staying in the house of Simon, which was a tanner by the seaside. Did he and play he, Simon Says? No, that was Simon. Uh, Simon was the owner of the house that Peter was staying in. And I so, like the ocean. I do too. Mm -hmm. So like Cornelius yeah. called two of his servants and a godly soldier and told them what happened and what the angel said. So they started for Joppa to find Peter. Joppa? That's right. Now the servants of Cornelius arrived at the house where Peter was staying. They were outside at the gate asking if someone named Peter lived there. Then the Holy Spirit said to Peter, Three men are looking for you. Go with them without fear, for I have sent them. So Peter went downstairs, talked to the men, and he said, I'm the one, I'm the one you're looking for. And they answered and explained to him, Captain Cornelius, a good man who fears God, is well thought of by all the Jews, was told by a holy angel to send for you to come to his home. What do you think of that, guys? That sounds awesome. Yeah. 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 So, in talking to them, he arrived at Caesarea the following day. At first, when Peter walked in, Cornelius fell down and worshipped him. But Peter said, Ooh, stand up. I'm just a man like you are. So, then after talking together a while, Peter went inside, met many Gentiles, people who, like Cornelius, weren't Jews. So, you know what Peter told them? What? He said, You know, the Jews say it is wrong for us to associate with men of other nations. But God has taught me in a vision that God loves all mankind, not just the Jews. Isn't that cool? I'm glad God does. Did they also play Simon Says? No, I don't think they played Simon Says back then. I like playing Simon Says. I do too. It's a neat game, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now... Cornelius explained that four days earlier, he said, I was fasting and praying here in my house when suddenly an angel stood before How me. How fast was he going? Yeah. Fasting. He was doing without food. He was praying. Mm. Oh. Okay. So okay. Corne he, and that, he explained that suddenly an angel stood before him with bright clothing and said, Cornelius, God has heard your prayers. And so I sent for you at God's instruction. So when he comes, he will tell you how you and all your family can be saved. You're welcome. So immediately I sent for you, and I appreciate your coming. Peter said, 
I realize now that God doesn't choose one nation, sure. but sure. has chose all Sorry. men to, to come to know his son. God sent Jesus into the world, and he went about doing good, yet the Jewish leaders put him to death. But God brought him back to life again on the third day and allowed us to see him. God has appointed yep. Jesus to be ruler of all nations, for all who believe in him have their sins forgiven. So, while Peter was still speaking, the Holy Spirit came upon Cornelius and the other Gentiles who were there. Then Peter asked, shouldn't these men be baptized since the Holy Spirit has come upon them, just as he did upon us? So he baptized them all in the name of Jesus. Then they begged him to stay for several days, and Peter did. That was a good story. It sure yep. was. Yeah. Yes, it was. It sure was. Mm -hmm. It was pretty cool. Guys, it's time to go. No. no we don't want to go. We don't want to go. Yeah. Tell another story, please. Story well, another. our time is running out, so we'll have to say goodbye for now. Uh, All right, right, guys. Bye-bye. Bye, y'all. Bye. 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 Bye.